Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, great to be with you today. Uh, well, just one of my favorite sections of Scripture. Uh, it might surprise you, you know, as we read it, um, maybe like top 25, all right? But the Scripture says in verse 1, chapter 22, if you have your Bibles, open up with me today. David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard him, or heard it, they went down there to him. Watch this. And everyone who was in distress, and everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was in bitter, who was bitter in soul, gathered to him. And he became commander over them, and there were with him about 400 men. So, um, David, David's on the run, and you know, Saul has a... Saul's got enemies, you know. Saul's Saul's been doing stuff in a way that um, not just not just that he has enemies, but there there are people who've been marginalized, and um, these people who've been marginalized and um, and and beyond that, um, they they find a commander, they find a leader that they can that they can follow. David at this point doesn't really seem like the guy that you would want to attach yourself to because. He's on the run from Saul, you know, the king of Israel, and Saul's coming after him, after him, hunting him down. It would appear that that uh, Jesse and his household recognize that um, this is not a good moment for them either; that they're at risk. And so, what do they do? They they go, they find David, and and they um, associate themselves with him. But this is like a this is a motley crew. Like this is a crazy group of people. When you're thinking about building a kingdom or planting a church, you're probably not going to select a bunch of people who were in debt, in distress, um, people who are bitter in soul. Like normally those are the people um, that you would want to avoid building a kingdom with. Um, But these were individuals. God saw something, right? God saw something that they didn't see. Um, God saw something that no one else saw. God took you know, the least likely group of people um, that, that, like I said, had been marginalized by the king, maybe deeply offended uh, by him in some way. God takes that unlikely group of people, he transforms them and turns them into, you know, one of the mightiest military forces that Israel ever had. From this group of people, we're going to see later on um, in Samuel, there just are extraordinary exploits as God places his hands on the most unlikely. Um, these are the kind of people that's like, hey, these are, you know, let me list the ways you're disqualified from being used by God. Uh, let me list the ways how your, your resume just doesn't even stack up, can't even get you into the door, right? I mean, you're not passing go. You're certainly not collecting $200. These are the kind of people that would have just been uh, written off completely um, and honestly would probably be written off today. You know, if uh, it's been said by preachers and pastors over the course of the years, um, if Paul was to give his resume, you know, of who he was before faith in Christ, um, and even afterwards, and submit it to you know some of the most sophisticated churches today. It's highly unlikely he would ever even get hired. Um, sometimes, I suppose, what I'm saying to you today is this: uh, that God sees in us what we don't see ourselves. God sees in us what we don't see ourselves. Sometimes the only thing that we see are those things that disqualify us. You know, sometimes the only thing that that we're able to recognize are the failures and the falterings and the foibles of our life and and how we think there's no possible way God could ever, you know, bring us into a group of people and use us for His divine purpose. And I'll just tell you what I've seen over the course of, of, of the years is God will oftentimes take the most unlikely people and raise them up for for His glorious purposes. And and there's multiple things at work in that. Number one, um, he does it for his glory, right? He does it for his glory. At the end of the day, when God does great things through the most unlikely people, everyone knows it certainly is not the person. It could only be God. 
Um, I think also God uh, does that because those people come with, with humility. Those people come with, um, you know, with a clear-eyed self-evaluation. And sometimes, you know, when we've, when we've built our own reputation and, you know, we've, we've been striving to make ourselves something um, and, and, you know, we advance even above uh, our peers, sometimes there's such a self-reliance that while God wants to use us, He can't because there's no space for Him in our hearts. The only space in our hearts that we have is for our own selves. And God would love to get in and do something, but we're just so, we're just, you know, we're just full of our own selves. And so I think also there's just this aspect of humility and brokenness. And this group of people, this unlikely group of people, you know, they gather together. What do they have? They've got a cave. They've got a commander who's been kicked out and, and booted out. They're on the run. They're, they're, you know, scraping just to get by for food. And in all of that, they discover the preserving, powerful hand of God. So don't discount yourself. Don't discount yourself. Don't underestimate what God can do in and through your life. If you're just willing to be humble and say to him, like Isaiah said, here I am, God, send me. God, thanks so much for what you do in and through our lives. We're humbled by it every day. We pray great things would be done, not for our name, but Father, for yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.